Okay, Chris. So um, I have a couple of questions that I'm going to ask you. And um, for every question that you skip, you're going to go a whole weekend um, without playing video games. Well, your consequence will be for every question you skip, that's $5 from me. If you skip my question, there's going to be consequences. What kind of consequences? I'm going to make you wash my clothes for two weeks. Wow, okay, so then I have to give $5 every time you skip a question. $5? Mm, okay. Your consequence will be whenever I need food in college, you're going to have to bring it to me. Okay, and your consequence will be you're going to cook for a week in the house if you skip any question. <laughs> okay. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. So, um, what's something I do that embarrasses you? Whenever you go in public and you start speaking, you're a bot. And it's embarrassing, yeah. What's something I do that embarrasses you? <laughs> mommy, 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 don't do that. Mommy, don't do that. <laughs> something you do? Mm -hmm. Well, when you're really excited, you'll scream like, <laughs> And you get it, and you feel embarrassed? I do it in public and I'm just like, oh my gosh, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> What's something I do that embarrasses you? Uh, when you try, to, when you force me to come and dance at parties, you know, I don't like dancing. You should love dancing. <laughs> Not in public. If there is one thing you could change about me, what would it be? Hmm. Would I want to change anything about you? No. No, I just love you the way you are. Hug, hug, hug. Hug, hug, hug. <laughs> have you ever spied on my text messages or social media? Mm, I have to think. <laughs> no, I haven't. Yeah. You always you always cling to your phone, so I can't even spy on it if I want to. Have you ever spied on my text messages or social media? Oh, definitely. I do spy on your text messages. Ooh. I don't know if you're going to like this. <laughs> Do you like me or your dad better? Daddy, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You like me better? Oh, sorry. <laughs> A little bit. Oh, well, I, I, I'll take that. <laughs> I don't think this is a proper question to be asked. Uh, OK, um, I would say, uh, Daddy, if you're watching this, <laughs> Don't get upset, but I like you better, mommy. <laughs> uh, was Daddy the first person you ever dated? Um, no. Wow! I'm saying the truth. Hi. <laughs> Are you surprised? Okay. No, he he wasn't. Right. But I think he was the second person. Oh, okay. Yeah, the first person. I don't even know what happened. Oh. I don't want to talk about it on social media. <laughs> so was dad the first person you ever dated? No. Of course not. So when I get... Wait, 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 okay. wait. I'm not done. So he wasn't the first person. How many people before him? I only dated one person before your dad. Oh, um, why did you leave him then instead of for, for daddy? When I started dating, um, I wasn't matured too matured enough, even though I was in college before I started dating, but I see some things in the other guy that it's not what I really ask God for in my life. So, so is it okay if I date? Is it okay if... If I date? It's okay if you date, if you're matured enough to date, yes. Okay, I'm just getting the confirm, the <laughs> confirmation now. Okay. <laughs> What's something you're supposed to or, I'm sorry, what's something you're surprised you got away with? You want to skip? No. Um, surprised I got away with Good. What have you always wanted to ask me? What I've always wanted to ask you. You usually ask me. Whatever. Oh yeah. 
Do you have a boyfriend? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you don't. <laughs> okay. I always wanted to ask you if you started dating or uh, if you have somebody. I don't have anyone, but I've dated in the past. You've dated I've in dated, the past? Yes, I've dated in the past. Who? Um, it was junior, junior year, I think. But uh, I didn't tell you guys, mm -hmm. of course, I didn't tell you guys. But uh, you can't judge me. You dated some yeah, of me. I'm not, I'm not judging you. <laughs> <laughs> and, okay. and, and don't tell daddy. <laughs> Be honest. Who is your favorite child? Mm. Oh, my okay. goodness. I'm going to have to skip this one. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not answering this. <laughs> uh -uh. Nicole and Michael, uh, they're looking at me right now. No, <laughs> no I, I don't mind giving you the $5. I'm skipping this. It's really tough because I love all my children equally. <laughs> you don't have to lie. So... Is there like is it a ranking system? Is it like one is I'm Every, on top of everyone and ev then everybody they have, follow? Everybody have their own area, their own path. But I'm the I'm the favorite. <laughs> like, That's what you want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> no. What happy memory about me will you cherish forever? Okay, well, um, that one time when I was hospitalized um, and I got home. And then you would come to my room like every single morning, you know, before you went to school and every time when you got back from school, you know, to check up on me and make sure I was doing better. Yeah. When you were in high school, I remember the day your principal called me into the office and was telling me that my child made his school what the school was. And then when I told her I'll be taking you away from the school, she almost cried. So um, that stick to me like somebody somewhere, a mother somewhere can cry for another child that she doesn't even know at all. What do you love most about me? Mm. Huh? My smile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just um, say it. I guess you're singing. So, you know, your singing made me sing, and so... Uh, oh, okay. that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm embarrassing you now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what is one thing I do that you would also want to do with your daughter or your son? Mm, well, I like the way that, you know, every Saturday or almost every Saturday, we try to come together and have devotion and Bible study together. I plan to do that with my children. All right, I'm so blessed. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> you always come to my school events and some my soccer games. So you want to do that with them? Yes. Okay. I want to be able to have an open like relationship with my child as well, because like wherever I go, like you make me feel that I'm loved and cherished, and that someone's always watching out for me. What did you love the most about your mom? My mom, she's passed, but you know, God rest her soul. The thing I love most about my mom is she tells, she always tells the truth. It doesn't matter who you are. If she doesn't like something, she will tell you in a nice way though. And I think I kind of like emulated that from her. I love the fact that my mom always tell you the truth. Just like you. She always show you the right thing to do. She will not cite any bad thing. She will tell you just the way it is. Uh, okay, so I have one more question. Okay. You know how like when grandma died, right? Mm -hmm. And everyone was crying. And like I didn't cry. Did, were you guys? Because like I always felt that it was a bad thing that I didn't cry. Like, how did you guys perceive that? Was that? No. Um. At that point, I felt you still didn't have that understanding of what death is all about. So I feel that if you had more connection with her, or that you understood what death was at that time, maybe you would cry. 
But other than that, I didn't really expect you to cry more. Because I know you guys were crying for yeah. days, and, and I didn't cry, and I felt kind of bad. I, don't, I didn't know. I guess I was trying to tell myself that the reason I wasn't crying is because I wanted to be strong for you guys. Okay, good. But I don't know. If, like, it always feels like whenever, like, it, like in my mind, whenever someone, like, mentions that, it's like, oh, I didn't cry. Like, is that, am I a bad person, like, or no. something like that? No. You're not a bad person. What is the hardest thing about being a mom? Uh, well, making sure that I can raise you um, to be a great man. Hmm. The hardest thing about being a mom is seeing your child sick and you're helpless and there's nothing you can do about it. You're just there, you're just praying that God will touch the child and heal the child. And you're running back and forth. And another hardest thing is um, watching your child grow to adulthood and they no longer depend on you and you're like, wow. <laughs> I think that's, those are the two hardest things for me. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> the fact that I have to like, we have to like me and your daddy, we have to make sure that we do what God wants us to do to train you up in the way of the Lord. So I get worried, that's the hardest part that I worry a lot that I hope these children are going the right path. Happy Mother's Day. Um, I thank you for everything you've done for me. You're the best mother. I can't, if, I, if there was an award for the best mom, you would win it. I know other people say that their mom is the best mom, but no one knows you like I know you. So happy Mother's Day. <laughs> if there's anything that you want, just let me know. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> happy Mother's Day. Well, thank you, Chris. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy. Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, we're done. Oh, Jesus. Jesus.